Five points to 20. Oh, excellent display by the All Blacks for the Springboks with our shell shot. All right, guys, welcome to another one. Um, this is a review of the big game that took place over the weekend of uh, the All Blacks versus the Springboks. Uh, so, yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, we lost, guys. The box lost. Yeah, that's why today I woke up and went to church just to know. To 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 make myself feel better. I went to church today in the morning. Yeah, just to 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 get an, the divine intervention into this pain that I'm feeling right now. It's an unbearable pain of the loss from yesterday. You know, I, it's very painful, guys. It's very painful. But uh, hey. Let's get on with the review. Hey, this loss, guys, I, this is painful. This, this is not nice, you know. Hey, this is not nice. You know, we put all our energy into these games and they just come and then they behave like this, those guys. I need to fix this, guys. Yeah, so, yeah, the all Blacks started real well here, guys. Well, this game was played in, in New Zealand, in Auckland. I don't know. Mount Smart Stadium. I don't know the stadium name. Yeah, but the All Blacks started really well here. They were very good from the from the onset of the game. They were good. You could see the. You could just see. Ubanji, they they have an agenda today. They have an agenda. So they started well. They characterized by these long spells of play where, you know, these plays they had like more than six phases inside the Springboks Twenty Two. Aaron Smith was doing the work, cooking the pots for the for the All Blacks, and um, in one of these plays, they one of the, this big long play, they found space on the on the edges of our defense, and they found this other guy there, Aaron Smith. He found Will Jordan. Will Jordan got I think beat one defender, he got tackled, he stood up, and then he went inside carrying the ball, and then they found when our defense was trying to recover now from that. From trying to rush to the other close to the touchline, they left a gap. There was a disjointed gap between our forwards and our backline players trying to recover. And then Will Jordan went to that gap. And then when he went to the gap on his left hand side, the number nine, Will Aaron Smith was there to support. And he got he received the pass from Will Jordan and went on to went on, went on to score the first try for the All Blacks. Bowden Barrett goes wide. Lovely pass to Jordan. Almost broke the tackle. Then he went again. Well, Jordan. Oh my goodness, Aaron Smith. That first charge just is characteristic. It just gives you an idea of what's going to happen. They are here to rush the spring box. They are here to rush the spring box, to catch them off guard. Uh, so the Springboks concede about three penalties inside seven minutes of the game. Seven minutes into the game, already three penalties from the Springboks. Not looking good. Uh, also, the the box looked a bit shocked. They were shell shocked. The players here, a bit uh, uh, under the pump. Also, they lacked intensity. These guys, uh, and they're giving away some few penalties. Two Mark Talia. Has that ability to break tackles, and that'll be a penalty. Taylor, Retallick, unchallenged, as they move inside Springbok territory. Seven minutes gone on the test, and the All Blacks get another. Ball becomes available. Kane lost it behind him. Oh, another penalty. All Blacks holding, looking to put some pressure on, and getting another penalty. All Blacks look well set. Um, and they, when with their with their well preparedness, they are also varying their approach with the ball in hand, and the smart pressure kicks that they are putting on a, on defense edges. So their pressure kicks, their high kicks are very intentional. The All Blacks, when they when they did exactly what I, well they did the obvious, kicking to the edges, finding space there, no man's land. 
and also isolating our wing and our back players, the players are covering the back space behind the defense, defensive line. They were isolating those guys a lot, especially there was a case where they, asked, they isolated Mapimpi. It was very, landed very awkwardly that ball, high ball, from Aaron Smith. Woody Barrett in midfield, he'll take it up strongly. Smith punching high, waving as Mapimpi. Oh, the All Blacks almost grabbed it. Ioane. So they're very smart, the tactics were very smart from the All Blacks, you know. They were using the, whatever they were doing, they were very smart about how they were doing their things. Well planned, good strategy from them. So in one of these, so it's all All Blacks now, guys. Really, the Springboks are not doing anything. They are not getting any ball. It's all All Blacks. And in one of these other attempts from the All Blacks, uh, they found, they gave the ball to Will Jordan. On the left hand side who managed to find space again in our defense and went free and make the and then true i think it to one player or what when he was tackled i'm not sure but he made a pass to sean Fuzel who was making a run on the close to the left to the left hand uh, touch line there and Fuzel found space and he ran over um beat about two defenders and ran over uh, louis lily rue and to score that try Jordan again gets support. Here's Talia. Takes it in. Springboks having to make a mountain of tackles early. Little jab through the bounce. Falls up to Bowden Barrett. Slips it away to Kane. All Black still in possession. Now it's coming again for Aaron Smith. Running hard as it will Jordan once more. Pops it out to Taylor. Here is Frizzell. Yeah, another one. Just dominance from the from the All Blacks. Yeah, discipline from the box also letting them down. Uh, also, they, they are lacking a lot of. They are lacking intensity. These guys. And we're not seeing that intensity from the Spring Box that we usually see in the past games from them. And our players are knocking a lot of balls also, making mistakes. But it's so early though in the game. But you shouldn't be seeing these mistakes from these guys because you're thinking that. They came to this game expecting this, but from what I was seeing on the field, it, it looked like they didn't expect this kind of play from the All Blacks. But they should have expected it because we know they also have the All Blacks play, especially when they are playing at home. Uh, the All Blacks tactics, uh, the All Blacks uh, tactics have uh, been spot on. Uh, they are feeding off at the edges, uh, close to the touchline, as I said. And they are propping these those areas consistently with the high ball. Sometimes they're making the passes. Sometimes they're making a diagonal uh, kicks, high kicks, bombs, uh, target, targeting that space on the edge of our defense. And they were really causing problems because because whenever they went there, it was very uncomfortable for the Springboks to defend, or they struggled to mount, to reform their defense on the inside. Uh, towards uh, half time. Box got some momentum, but they didn't score. They failed to score. And then the game went to the halftime. Oblix 20, uh, Spring Box 3. So, some other notes I made here before I resume to the second half. Just to talk about the strategy. I think this was a master class from the All Blacks on how to start to have started to use strategy, the word strategy, and countering the strengths of the opposition. I think overall in sports, this was a master class from them how they approached this game. Uh, first of all, the box, the All Blacks know that the box have a strong pack and have a strong, powerful bench also. That's a strength. So, what well, they usually like the box, they like to have momentum on their side, the strength. The box don't like playing catch up rugby. That's a weakness. So the All Blacks knew that they came to this game, they rushed everything, uh, accumulate early points on, uh, 
uh, it, it, this will put them in a good position to win the game. Because now this meant now the bench would come in later and they have more work and be under pressure uh, uh, to do more work to try to catch up. Which means that now they will make mistakes and be less impactful than when they came into the game while the box maybe would have had a lead or something like that. So this is good on strategy. This was a good plan. This was a good uh, mastermind strategy on how to, in sports generally, I'm not going to focus more on this game, but also in sports, they could use this to learn whatever, in case studies. When the second half came, uh, the box still looked very shaky in the second half start. And, there was, and, there was, and there was, as a result, they put in their subs early on in the game. The box got a penalty. A scrum penalty in one, of, in one of the scrums and they opted to go to kick for touch but when 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 50 click wanted to kick for touch he couldn't find touch kick the ball to the in goal area movement just yet remembering to mighty williams and it looks as though it's been kicked in his boat oh dear big opportunity yeah, things are not looking good for the Springboks here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm not going to criticize Fafti Clerk for that kick. He was trying something. He was trying something under pressure. He was trying to put the box back close to the Oblix try line so that they could, they could maybe drive a mall and have a chance of scoring, but it didn't work out. I luck to him. So later, the, the box got a... Um, finally got the line out close to the Oblix line, uh, try line. And they drove a mall, powerful mall, and Malcolm Max scored the try here. Max. Once again, Schneeman goes high. Aaron Smith's concerned about the blind side, but Max comes to the open side. This is looking pretty good for the Springboks. And they've... Yeah, but and then you think, that, okay, the Opics are, the Springboks are going to do something. They can maybe, it's, it's a start of something good. But now they're under a lot of pressure from the All Blacks because the All Blacks are very smart and we're forcing the box to com commit mistakes on the breakdown and to lose discipline. In one of the cases, they gave away a cheap, a cheap penalty and Moonga decided to, trick, to kick for three points. Uh, but after these three points, the box again tried to mount, to initiate again another fight back and they score a try to Colby on the right hand corner there. As Williams sends it wide. All Blacks now having to make a lot more tackles. Williams away again. Beautiful pass for Colby. But uh, after this try is scored, it, the All Blacks hit back with a try from Will Jordan. Change of direction. A little kick through. Here's a chance. Did he control it? They... Um, yeah, he cancels that try from Colby now. And after this try, they just look very composed, the All Blacks, playing smart rugby, kicking on the right areas, putting pressure on the spin box, really. Uh, the box ill-discipline continues. Uh, with this time, Koha Smith attempts to steal the ball on the ground, but then he's doing it illegally. So, penalty to the All Blacks. Snapped up by Sabia. Tupo Bailly. Freshly on the field, ball's been stolen, oh, but it's a penalty. And the Oblacks opt for a scrum because of positional play, because of where the because of where the penalty is awarded. It's perfect poise just under the post. So they they go for the scrum. From the scrum, the ball goes to Richie Moonga. Moonga goes in and scores a try. Easy try for the All Blacks. After this, the game continues, but no score. Until half, until full time, game ends. All Blacks thirty-five, Springboks uh, twenty. Congrats to the All Blacks. Yeah, congrats to them. They were very championship side. Under pressure, they delivered the All Blacks. Sean Fuzel was immense for them. Uh, especially in the first half, he was immense. Aaron Smith was superb. His quick ball service for the All Blacks was good allow them to move quickly 
to beat those uh, to, to find those soft shoulder uh, uh, soft shoulders in the box amongst the box defenders his box kicks also were very pinpoint especially in the first half which Maonga uh, had a fantastic game his kicking from the tee was superb he didn't he didn't miss any maybe he missed one I'm not sure but it was it was superb he was always looking to kick for space on the edges of us on the Springboks defense Will Jordan superb very very elusive on the wide areas he was brilliant for the All Blacks smart player Will Lily Roo had a good game tried to con to weather the storm but he was alone other players were not in sync with him. Malcolm Marx made a significant improvement when he came in, but again, other players were not supporting him. The box were flat. They were very flat. It's not an excuse, just something I observed. They were very flat. No intensity, no emergency. There was no initiative. To win the game from the box. Well done to the Oblix. On to the next one, boys. Thank you.